Hey y'all, welcome back to Bulls with the Bard. My name is Michaela Mannix. I am the artistic director of Bulls with the Bard. And if that introduction sounded a little different than what you are used to hearing, that is just the first of many very exciting changes Bulls with the Bard has been undergoing. Today's episode is all about a very exciting announcement. Bulls with the Bard is bringing Denver, Colorado, the United States' first ever stoned Shakespeare experience. Michaela, what the heck does that mean? Well, if you have ever been to a Shakespeare in the pub type experience, it's a little bit like that. September 21st through September 24th, Bulls with the Bard will be producing A Midsummer Night's Dream at the Coffee Joint in Denver, Colorado. This will mean that the actors performing will be getting high on stage while they perform Midsummer. It will also mean that the audience will be invited to get high as they watch the show. Over the last few months, I have been taking lots of crazy and overwhelming steps to make Bulls with the Bard an official theater company. And last week, I officially hired a director and an assistant director slash director of movement, and I am absolutely thrilled to have them on the project. I will announce their names a little bit later, but I want to get them on contract first. So what does this mean for the podcast? <laughs> I am not yet sure if I'm going to make it an official season, but I will be giving you periodic updates about how rehearsals, audition, putting Midsummer together is going. However, I do anticipate that those updates will be coming a little bit more slowly than they have been for the last month or so. I don't anticipate that if I make this season three, it will be a weekly podcast like we are used to. That being said, once we have closed Midsummer, we will be back with another full-length season. It will be about women in Shakespeare, the women who surrounded Shakespeare, the characters he wrote about, and the women who influence Shakespeare today. For now, though, I'm going to do everyone's favorite thing that theater companies do, and I am going to beg you for your money. <laughs> It is incredibly important to me that from Jump, I am paying my people at least decently. Look, it's the start of a theater company, so there's only so much we can do. But I think the stipends I'm offering are quite competitive. I have offered my director and assistant director a $700 stipend for their work. And then on top of that, our actors are going to be offered a $500 stipend for their work, and they will receive a 10% cut of whatever ticket sales we make. I do have some investors who are helping to make that possible, but they are more than willing to match what I am trying to fundraise. So if you look in the show notes, you will find a link to our GoFundMe page for this production of Midsummer. All of that fundraising will either go toward production costs, paying our people, or toward our ultimate future goal of having our own space. We have a lot of exciting ideas for what we can do once we get a hold of our own space, but that is an ambitious goal. So we are starting to fundraise for that right off the bat. I am absolutely stoked to keep you all in the loop about this production. I have been sitting on this for a long time and it has been so hard not to share it with you. Tomorrow we have our first production meeting and scheduling meeting. I imagine my next update will come to you after we have our first round of auditions or maybe even callbacks. But until then, keep checking our social media pages for smaller updates. I am just so excited to be breaking new ground with this. I am thrilled to share it with you. I cannot wait to hear your reactions. I cannot wait to see you in the audience, to see you at auditions, whatever it be. I am just so excited. Bulls with the Bard has been just me for such a long time. But one of the core values of Bulls with the Bard has always been community. I am so excited for Bulls with the Bard to finally have an in-person community. But I could tangent forever, so for now, I am going to sign off. Until our next update, bye all. A thousand thousand sighs to save, oh, lay me where sad true love.
lover, never find my grave to weep there.